appreciated uh, Dr. Hart's uh, message yesterday. Uh, he made reference uh, to Jim Collins, you know, and the five levels of, of, the, of uh, successful leaders. Uh, Jim Collins' study actually looked at um, a great number of successful executives and, and uh, actually categorized them. Those were on this level of success and so on. And he found that those were in the level five, the top level of leadership. They had certain characteristics. And it was interesting to me to know that one of those characteristics of a level five executive, the, the most successful of them, was the ability to own the problems of their country, uh, of their company. When there was something that was wrong, they didn't say, the guy's down there in marketing, or you know we've got some weak places over here, and those fellas, and so on. The executive would own it himself and say, look, you know, we have fallen short in this area. This is an area that, that I need to take care of. You know, personally taking uh, ownership of the problem. And yet, at the same time, these same leaders when something went well, when they were successful, when their, their, their graphs were going up, when this, there was success, they were the first one to say, you know, we can really be thankful for <coughs> such and such a guy here down in, in marketing or, or, or this group over here who have been so successful. Not taking the ownership of the success to the, himself, but distributing it, allocating it to his people quick to allocate success and credit, quick to take blame when your company, when your church, your people do it. Leadership, unity, those are critical to us. And so today I just pray that God will give us that kind of God-given talent to be able to not only ourselves be people of, of positive uh, leadership, but that we can also teach our people those kind of patterns so that we can look on the good side of things, that we can own the responsibility and we can take responsibility for making change ourselves so that God's work can go forward. Let's just bow our heads as we close. Loving Lord, we thank you that you are God who has so much to know about our sins and yet you love us and care for us that you see in us the potential of what you that what we can be and what your church can be through your marvelous grace lord may we have that leadership talent as well that we can see the best in others, that we'll be slow to cause, to give blame or criticism, that we'll be quick to affirm and appreciate through your wonderful grace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Steve, for those thoughts. We're going to have a little time of prayer now. And uh, I am going to uh, actually just take care of a little business here. Uh, in the process of moving into this next portion of our program. Uh, we've had some individuals arrive who were not uh, here yesterday with us during the introductions. I think most of you are familiar with uh, Dr. Ung, G.T. Ung. He's the Executive Secretary of the World Church. And uh, Dr. Ung, thank you for coming. Welcome. Also, uh, of course, uh, Elder John from Southern Asia Pacific Division. He is the president of that division. And uh, he uh, right, I think after the introduction yesterday, uh, Dr. Jairon Lee, uh, 